What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Lightfall. Now, last time we left off, we healed some villagers. We healed some tainted villagers, brought them over here, and now they're all casually locked up as if they're in jail, but they're not really in jail, right? They're, they're not in jail. Either way, since last time, I, I kidnapped even more villagers and filled up all of these over here, so we should have like a dozen or so villagers, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, yeah, we should have like a dozen of them right now. So I don't know what these trades are. I just kind of grabbed random villagers that might have decent trades. And this guy has a decent trade. It's pretty bad. Nine cookies, that doesn't really heal that much. And 17 chicken for one emerald. Uh, that's going to take a lot of chickens to get just one emerald. Another cookie one. There's one for wheat. There's more chicken, more wheat. Uh, there's cooked fish, more wheat. And there's an emerald for some bread, and there's that chicken one right there. Okay, so they're all eh, about the same-ish. All I have to do is just kill a bunch of chickens, <laughs> and then I can get a pretty good amount of emeralds, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so let's see, how many chickens do we have? Because I know we have an absolute ton of chickens. Yeah, we have a pretty good amount of chickens. Hmm, all right, well, we don't have any seeds over here, so we can't, we can't just, like, kill those chickens and multiply them. Actually, not in that order. We, we want to multiply before we kill them, <laughs> or else they'll just be a bunch of baby chicks. Either way, uh, I did have some zombies come down here trying to, you know, zombify our villagers over here, so I thought maybe we can get those paving stones of warding. Uh, ooh, we have only two of those, and apparently these, like, ward mobs away or something like that, so maybe we can put these here and maybe make another one of these and uh, prevent some, like, you know, zombies from coming over here and trying to taint our villagers and whatnot. Well, not really taint them, but just, like, zombify them, I guess. Either way, let's get some stairs. Uh, there we go, blue a shist a stairs. And we can put these over here, so we just easily go up and down, and I suppose we just put a, a blue schist stair right there, just because we don't have paving stones of warding on all of that. And I'm pretty sure I need a third one to go right here, or else the zombies will just, you know, go around this and just go like that, and then still go inside there. So let's actually look at our uh, Thaumonomicon and see how we have to craft those paving stones of warding. Uh, is it in alchemy? Is it in uh, artifice? Yep, here we go. Uh, paving stone of warding. Paving stone of travel. Yeah, let's actually find out what that is. I guess I have to do a little bit of research for that, right? Uh, nope, I guess, uh, oh, there you go. By altering the magical structure of arcane stone, you're able to create a paving stone that adds a new bounce to the step of anyone walking across it. Anything walking across it will have a greater speed and agility for a couple seconds. Huh. Okay. So, uh, that's kind of cool. You can get a little bit of, a uh, little bit of a speed boost from that. Uh, let's see how you make the paving stone of, oh, that's cheap. Oh, yeah, we had to make those for the, uh, I forgot what we made it for, but uh, I know we had to make some baby stone of warning in the past. Oh, there's a zombie over there by our cane thing over there. Okay, so we have enough, because uh, I know it needs a, uh, yeah, an order shard and a fire shard. Do we have those? Yep, there you go. Order shard, fire shard. I think we got some order shards by going into a cave, so that's pretty good. Either way, fire shard, order shard, arcane stone. Uh, wait a second. Uh, wait, do I need a... I think I need a wand. <laughs> Let's go get him. Oh, there's the zombie right there. Oh, he's trying to go get our villagers. Just what I thought. Just what I thought. He knows. He knows. <laughs> okay, let's go get our uh, wand over here. Is that thing completely filled up? Uh, not really. Still has a pretty good amount of ordo missing from it, but what are you going to do, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go put our wand on the table and go craft ourselves a couple more of those paving stones of war. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> what am I missing? Is it, uh, oh, arcane stone breaks. Ooh, do we have those? Uh, oh, wait, we have paving stone. What the? Okay, <laughs> we have like eight of those right there, so we don't even need these. Okay, that's good. Either way, let's put these back up, put the order shards back in our thing, and let's just put these paving stones of warding over there by the villagers. Make sure no zombies can go over there and touch them and. <gasps> no, God, there's already a zombie. See, that's what I was talking about. That is what I was talking about. It's not like they can zombify them. Well, it gets pretty annoying with all these zombies over here, you know? Either way, hopefully that's going to work. Hopefully that's going to prevent all the zombies from going inside there, you know? But uh, let's actually read about it. Let me make sure that that is the case. Uh, God, let me get away from these villagers. They're making up so much noise right now with all their her and hers. <gasps> Ooh, there's a zombie right there. Is he going to try and come in and 
zombify our villagers or is he trapped outside? Either way, let's read that uh, Paley Stone Warding thing. You have discovered a way of turning arcane stone blocks into mystical wards that will prevent most creatures from crossing them. It should be noted that uh, these wards aren't always 100% foolproof and they cannot prevent other players from entering an area, but they keep most common threats at bay. They will also prevent golems from crossing them. Hmm. For best results, you need an unbroken line of them in between areas you wish to protect and the outside world. Yeah. I guess we just fix that up real quick. Uh, an active redstone signal will disable the block. Okay. So, color of the runes above the paving stone indicates the current status. Purple rune shows that it's currently preventing something from passing through. Blue runes indicates that it's deactivated with a redstone signal. Red runes show that something is preventing it from fully warding an area, and the gap exists where something might be able to pass through. Huh. Well, it shouldn't have that red thing anymore, right? Yeah, it doesn't. And so if we get this... Or maybe if we do this... Will it start, uh... Glowing? Because I think I saw it glowing there a second ago, right? Let's put that stair back down. It'll start glowing red. Oh, I hear a zombie. This is not a good time to test our thing. Okay. Ooh, get over here, zombie. I dare you. I dare you. Get over there. Oh! Is he not able to... Is he, is he too stupid? Are you too... <laughs> Are you too stupid, zombie? You can't go inside here and try and zombify one of our villagers? Ah, <sighs> well, either way, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go to bed. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, man, that feels great. Feels refreshing. Anyways, yep, still no zombies down there. That's good. Either way, God, I still need a little bit of food. I, I kind of want to start on our, uh, our golem stuff this episode. Definitely want to start making at least one, like, straw golem. Maybe upgrade it a bit. I think there's a creeper. Oh, there's a creeper right there. What? Die, Creeper! Oh, got him! <laughs> zombie burned to death there, too. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Oh, another zombie burning. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, well, that's good. We got him. Anyways, <laughs> let's try and make our... There it is right there, Thalonomicon. Let's see, what are we going to need to make our very first golem? Uh, I think we're going to need this golem insert. Golem inserts a bell, which is a stick and a little bit of nether quartz. So, uh, let's get our thing out. There it is right there. And let's see. Uh, do we have a bell inside of here already? No, we don't. Alright, so quartz. How much quartz? Yeah, we have enough quartz. We just need four of that. And then how many sticks do we have? Do we have any stuff? Uh, we don't have any sticks. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of wood. There we go. One, two. And we should be able to make four sticks from that. Easy peasy, no problem. And where is our near? Oh, I guess I'll just go over here for our nearest crafting table. And I guess we just make it here no problem, right? Oh, wait, we already have sticks here. Huh, I must have made, like, torches or something. Can I make it here, or do I have to make it- I guess I have to make it in the, uh, in this one. Alright, well, I already have my wand, so let's put that there, put the stick there, a little bit of quartz, like, oh, like so, there you go. And there's the golem insert's bell. I think you need this to, like, control the, uh, the golems, tell them what to do, whatnot, and, uh, upgrade water, upgrade order, entropy, fire, blah, 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 I don't know what those do. I, I guess I'll do a little bit of research here in a bit. Either way, uh, golem core gather. Empty, fill, guard, harvest, picking up what you're putting down. So maybe we can do the gather one. Or, I guess we already have that. Let's do the harvest one. Oh, I need scribing tools and paper. Ooh! Where's all my scribing tools and paper at? Did I put it up? I don't think I did. Uh, I, I can't see scribing tools and paper inside here. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Scribing to I guess I don't have any. Okay, paper. Uh, we don't have any paper either. Huh. <laughs> Let's go get a little bit of paper. We have some sugar cane growing over there, so we should be able to make some paper. A easy piece, no problem. And I guess I have to make another scrapping tools. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> this should be pretty easy to craft, but I can't remember how to craft them, so... Let's see. Do I have any scra- I thought I had scrapping tools. I always have scra- Is it in my backpack? No, it's not in my backpack. What? Where's it going? Okay, whatever. There's a feather. I think we need an ink sack. And... I don't know. <laughs> Let's look it up. How do we make a scribing tool? Uh... Ooh, wow. There's, like, different, uh... Crystal scribing tools, bow scribing... Ooh! Fancy dancy. So, it looks like it's just a glass file or a glass bottle with a feather and an ink sack. Okay. Should have some glass bottles over here. No, we don't. <laughs> of course we don't. Of course we don't. Okay. Glass bottles. Yeah, we have some glass bottles over here, no problem. Alright, so let's grab ourselves some things, like so. There you go, scrap your tools. And we can just easily make some paper real quick, like so. There you go. A decent amount of paper, 15, not bad. And let's see, how do we make this harvest thing? Is it instantly unlocked? Oh, yep, we have to make the, uh, we have to do the research for it. Ooh, so we have to do that little 
connect that little scythe to the to the moving thing to the wheat. Hmm, how are we gonna do that? Crop? Hider? Looks like those might have human. Or uh or whatever that is called. Humanus. Those might have humanus in and oh never mind, I guess Modus doesn't have a uh, have that thing inside of it, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be kinda tricky. How are we gonna do that? Where's that scythe? There it is right there. Okay, yeah, we can we can easily connect harvest to itself, right? Easily. Yeah, let's just do that. There you go. Get the scythe again. <laughs> get another crop. Get another scythe. And we'll be good to go. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait, whoops. God, that's not right. There you go. And then one more scythe. And there you go. They're nice and connected now. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. How do you make the scythe again? Looks like it's tools and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, we might be able to. Should be able to connect that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to make more scythe stuff, right? Yeah, so we have to get some more wheat and tools, and that'll get us another scythe. There we go. So, uh, wait a second. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> let's connect it up like that. So how do you make the scythe again? So it looks like it's tools, but how do you make the tools? Tools have ordo. Does this have ordo? It has modus, which has, oh yeah, it has ordo. So we put that there, and then we put ordo there. And there we go, we feel, we just got it right there, nice! I was about to pause the recording and fix that, uh, figure that out on my own, but I guess I didn't need to do that. Anyways, we have the harvest one, nice and researched now. And let's see, what are we going, uh, what was that, ooh, fishing. That could be pretty cool. You can get us, like, fish and stuff. Huh, alright, well, uh, what are we going, ooh, golem animation core. I guess I have to make these animation core things, how do you, oh yeah, that's how you make them, you have to get some brick and some night ore. And then, uh, let's see. Messis and Mido. I guess I have to put those inside of a crucible and that'll get us the golem animation core for harvest. Huh, okay, well, let's let's not try and do that just yet. Let's try and make the actual golem. So what are we gonna need for an actual golem? We're gonna need a straw golem to be hay bale with humanus, modus, and spiritus. And that is going to be our basic golem. And uh, we're gonna need some more of that cycle stuff. How to make that uh, cycle stuff to do this research? So it's Perdicio and Oro. Okay, that's the easy piece, no problem. Let's get a couple of those. And let's try and make the wooden golem. There you go. Ooh, that unlocks even more stuff. Clay golems, traveling trunk. What's that do? I've heard about that traveling trunk. Flesh golems, ew. <laughs> Nasty. So here's the traveling trunk one. Uh, ooh, that's kind of tough. Connecting four of these things. Spiritus and uh, Eider and Arbor and Vacuos. How are we going to connect those? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe not do the traveling trunk one just yet. Let's try and make our basic golem. So, uh, how are we going to get Humanus, Modus, and Spiritus? What drops Humanus, Modus, and Spiritus? Or Humanus, Modus, or Spiritus? Let's see. What about that zombie brain? What does that get us? I'm pretty sure I've scanned that in the past. Why is it not telling me the, uh, the stuff from that? I'm pretty sure that gives you, like, Spiritus, maybe? Something like that? Uh, no, 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 that gives you Cognito, and that weird meat-on-the-bone look thing, <laughs> and a little bit of that poison-looking thing, so that's zombie brain. What about, like, rotten flesh? Do I have rotten flesh inside of here? Uh, I don't have any more rotten flesh, I guess I've been drying it all out. But, uh, ooh, let's, yeah, scan the, uh, no, that's glass. I guess I have to scan the, uh, oh, I have rotten flesh literally, literally in my inventory. <laughs> scan that up, oh, uh, is that Humanus? That little people thing, human. I think it is. That's one of the things we need, right? Humanus? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Humanus, and then we need Modus and Spiritus next. Ooh. So I guess I have to do a little bit of research, find out what gets us Modus and what gets us Spiritus. But for right now, we can get a little bit of Humanus from this rotten flesh, which we can uh, crystallize and put inside of the. put inside the, the crucible. And start getting ourselves our very first straw golem. Where's our little pipe? There it is right there. Essential tubes. And uh, let's just empty this this weird looking tape looking thing. <laughs> let's empty that out. There's a little bit of Humanus. Three Humanus. Get rid of that meat on the bone looking thing. And this seems to be all done. All right. So let's uh, start crystallizing some Humanus. There we go. And is, is it go? Oh, yep. There it's going. All right. Well, we're going to do a little bit of research real quick. Find out how we get to uh, Modus and Spiritus. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I just did a little bit of research, and it's not spiritus, it's like spiritus, spiritus? I think that's the technical term for it, right? Uh, it's, there's no like O in it, right? 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've been uh, if I've been mispronouncing that. It's spiritus, not spirituous, but uh, vacuos. I think that's still right, right? It has the O inside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah vacuo. I think I still got that one right. I just heard one humanus go inside, or two humanuses. Let's grab those. How many are we going to need? Uh, how many humanuses? Hashtag how many humanuses? Uh, four. Ooh, we still don't have enough. We have to get a little bit more rotten flesh, but. We can get ourselves some spirituous from uh, from soul sand, soul sand. Yep, we have some soul sand here, and I think you get like uh, how many do you get from that? Scan that one, huh? Do we have a? I think we might have a ghast here. No, I guess we don't have a ghast here. I'm pretty sure we maybe we used it, huh? I'm pretty sure we had a ghast tier from the the potion shop over there at the at the floating at the floating city, right? Or maybe it's inside of here. Yeah, I don't see the gas here inside of here. Huh. Maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, soul sand. I, I don't know where we got this soul sand at. I'm trying to remember. Because I don't really, really want to waste it, you know? But let's see. Let's check our Athomonomicon. How many uh, soul sand are we going? How many spiritualists do we need? Ooh, four. Okay, so it was four of each. And then, uh, hmm. One, two, three, four. There you go. So that's going to get us uh, Terra... And that weird trap looking thing as well. So, uh, oh, we're going to get a pretty good amount of these little crystallizing thingies. Either way, for Modus, what we need is a piston. I think a piston gives you like either eight or four of them. So that should be pretty good. Uh, let's see if we have any pistons. Oh, yep, we already have some pistons. I'll uh, scan those real quick. There you go. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's going to get us four. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, well, uh, let's just take both of these bad boys. Might as well. Because we're probably going to be upgrading to a wood golem here in the future. So, I'm pretty sure it just requires the same amount of material. So, two pistons. And while we're at it, let's actually get one, two, three, four soul sand. So, we can at least make two golems. So, come on, piston. Hurry up. Hurry up and get processed, Hata. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, how are we doing over here? Still making... Oh, there we go. Spiritualist. And there's Terra right there. All right. So, what else are we going to need? Just a hay bale or something? I think all we need next is just a hay bale, and then, I think we might be good to go. And then we need to make those those clay things, those clay, what is it called, something, some animation core or something like that? We need to make a, we need to get some of the night ore, yep, there you go, night ore, and we going to need a little bit of bricks, I believe, so let's see. Clay, do we have clay? Yeah, we have clay balls, we have bricks. Brick, yeah, we have, some, okay, we already have bricks, so we don't have to smelt the clay, so let's actually... See, is it in? Does it require in this crafting table? It might. Let's just make it here, anyways. Because I'm pretty sure that this also acts as like a regular Minecraft crafting table. Yep, there you go. Golem animation core. And it does require a little bit of Ordo and uh, whatever that is. Ignis. <laughs> I couldn't remember what it was. But there we go. It's blank. What are we going to need to make the harvest one? Gather? Do we have to make it gather first or harvest? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we just need a blank one first. Okay, and then Messus, and then Mito, and I assume you get that from, uh... Okay, so you get Messus from the weed itself, which I suppose we just throw a few inside there. How many Messus are we going to need? Uh, five. Okay. And you get, uh, two from each of these, so let's throw three of these inside there. And what do you have? I don't know what you get Mito from. Maybe it's from a hoe? Do we have a hoe inside of here? No, we don't. Uh, hmm... I guess I'll do a little bit of research real quick. Let's let's see where we get this Mito thing from. Is that what it's called? Mito? Yeah, let's see where we get Mito. So it looks like the best sources are oh, like I said earlier, or shears. So let's actually scan these real quick. I'm surprised I have two things of shears. Usually I try and keep yeah, there you go, three Mito. And we need like what five? So let's grab both those shears. Since we rarely ever use shears, right? Might as well make some use out of them. There you go, throw those inside there. And that's going to get us some of that metal stuff, right? Yeah, going to get us some of the metallium, a little bit of that cycle thing, and of course the Mito that we're going to need. So these are still processing with some spiritualists and all that other stuff, a little bit of terror and whatnot. I really need to make more of these crystallizer things so I can crystallize things a lot faster. Huh, maybe I'll do that here in the future, maybe off camera or something, because I know it takes a little while to make those. Either way, do we have everything? Oh yeah, we need to make uh, hay bales, right? Yeah, there you go. Wait, thatch? We're not playing Ark Survival of All. There you go. <laughs> hay bale. We just need one hay bale. And what are you going to need for the, uh, for the harvest one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just the, the blank animation core that you throw inside the crucible with the Mito and the Messis. And then, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
right click. I guess we just read about this harvest one real quick. Kind of, kind of learn here a bit while that stuff is kind of processing over there. Golems fitted with this core need not be attached to an inventory. They seek out fully grown crops, reeds, and other commonly farmed plants within a small radius and harvest them. The harvested material simply drops to the ground and must be gathered by other means. Huh, so we might need another golem to gather, right? Is that what this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe, no, no, no. Straw golem, how many th things can a straw golem have? Upgrades one, ooh. What about a wood golem? Upgrades one, ooh. Clay golems? Hmm, we might need two, either two golems or a more advanced golem. You know, one to harvest, and then one to, of course, gather the harvest thing, because it just said that it, it doesn't pick it up. It, it just leaves it on the ground. It needs to be gathered by some other means. Uh, unfortunately, they are not smart enough to replant the crops they have harvested, but you, uh, but you are sure with a bit of work, you might be able to eventually fix that bug. Hmm, with a bit of work, we could eventually fix that bug. How can we do that? Uh, maybe we have to do the fishing one first. Let's do this one. Uh, animation core for that. Ooh, puffer fish. God, I have to actually do some fishing before I actually make this fishing core. Ha, ah, and what if we get beast shun? Ah, uh, that shouldn't be too hard to get all those, but... How are we gonna... Oh, there, maybe that's it. Fill, keep an inventory supplied. Decanting? Oh, that's how you fill uh, things with liquid. Is this it? Golems fitted with this core will examine inventories that you have marked for certain items and place them in their home inventory. There are two modes of operation. In precise amount mode, the golem will fill its home inventory with the specified items until it contains an amount equal to the amount you specified in its interface. Okay, that's kind of confusing, but whatever. <laughs> in any amount mode, the golem will keep filling the current inventory with specified items as long as there is room and available items. I don't know what this means. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not it. Moving things somewhere else. Ooh. Maybe no. I don't know. I might have to do some more uh, some off-camera research there. Either way, how are we doing over here? Still getting some like weird stuff, but whatever. Uh, Machina, Modus, blah, 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 blah. And Humanus, one. Did we already grab the Humanus? Oh, yeah, yeah we did. All right, so there's Humanus. Let's actually grab all those. Just put them over there. In the chest for now. Oh, my inventory is completely full. Oh, wait, we are. Yeah, we already have some Humanus. Ooh. Okay, so I didn't even need to put the this rotten flesh inside there. Whoops. <gasps> Either way. Let's grab these. Put them over here. Let's actually see if we have the right stuff. So we have Humanus. We need, what, four of that? Uh, and then we need the Mito one. And then we need... Messus? Is that what it was called? Messus and Mito. I'm, I probably don't have either of those, but we do have enough Humanus. So I guess what I'm going to have to do now is just wait until... Oh man, look at that. It's still processing over here. But I guess I'll just have to wait for all these to crystallize. Oh, a zombie! I guess I'll have to wait for all these to crystallize and I'll see you guys here in a bit. But I'm fighting a furious zombie who grows with size every time you hit him. Oh, oh no! We just killed each other! What? So who, who, who actually, who technically won that? Because I died, and he died. We killed each other. What? <laughs> Man. Okay. Either, either way, I'm going to pause the recording real quick. And uh, I guess I'll just have to wait for these to crystallize. And then hopefully we'll be able to make our very first straw golem. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I think we have everything. We have all the spear twists, the modus. And apparently, uh, I had a little bit extra. Where is it? Right there. Mito? I guess I had extra Mito stuff. So we have the Mito, the Messus, the Spiritus, the Humanus, and the Modus. So I think we have everything we need. Wait, scribing tools? Wait, what? I have two of the- I thought I- So I had one in my inventory the whole- Was I just blind? What? Oh man, I just noticed that. Jeez. Either way, <laughs> let's see if we can make this golem already. So let's go over to our crucible. And let's go, let's go make the, uh, do we have everything? Do we have the, yeah, we have the animation core thing. Oh my god, zombies. Where are these zombies at? I can hear zombies. Are they underground? They are. And, uh, I can see, like, bubbles coming out of them. What does that mean? Oh, ooh, vampiric zombie. Ooh. Whoa. So what does he do? Vampiric zombie was slain by the Waffle Galaxy. A little bit of iron right there. Whoa. I was wondering, like, what kind of zombie is that? It's like got a little bit of red coming out of it. Jeez. Either way, let's fill up a bucket. Oh, ooh. What is that? Click to open. 
or keep to trade. Huh. Common treasure. What is it? Ooh, gold coins. Not bad. What, what can I use that for? Currencies, maybe? Or, uh, ooh, upgrades and stuff? Red net energy cable things? Ooh, I can get gold nuggets out of it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's put that up then. <laughs> Alright, either way, let's get ourselves a bucket. Uh, we don't have a bucket. God, you know what? Uh, no bucket inside there either. Huh, alright, iron time. Let's make ourselves a new bucket, shall we? There we go. And just fill it up with water from back here. And put it over there. And let's double check. What are we going to need for the straw golem? We need 444. Four, four. Okay, and then we throw in the hay bale and hopefully we'll be good to go. So, four modus. And uh, we have eight modus right there. Uh, Spiritus and Humanus. There you go. So let's uh, throw in this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, of course, the hay bale. Ah! <gasps> there it is right there! Straw Golem! Ooh! And then we need to do five of the, the Mito stuff. Oh, wait. Messis? Wait, I need five me... Wait, what happened? Five, four messes, five Mido, one Spiritus Modus. Uh, which one's the last one I need? Or is it just these two? Uh, let me check. Did something go wrong? It, yeah, it's just Mido and Messis. But we need five. So what do you get Messis from here? Which one's that again? Uh, Messis is there. It is. Messis is. It's the crop one. How do I not have enough of those? Did I not do it right? I thought I had enough. Okay, well, let's put a little bit of a little bit of wheat inside of there, and that let that process crystallize real quick. And there's that fames thing, and or is it stuck inside of here? No, shouldn't be. Well, there it is, right there. It's processing right here. Jeez. All right. Well, <laughs> hurry up, thing. I thought I had everything. Some of these hungry chests, chest chests, to not chests, <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, not over here. I'm not seeing a, uh... Huh, that's weird. I'm pretty sure I had enough. I don't know what happened to it, though. And I think we should get our messes. There you go. Alright, there's our final messes. So we need five messes, five Mito. And then we'll be good to go. So let's go over here. Let's go to our Crucible now. Does it have anything left over? No, it doesn't have anything left over. Perfect. So, uh... Oh, I hear some, like, skeletons upstairs. So we need to hurry up here. Throw those up there. And then we need to get our blank thing. Uh, God, stop doing that. There we go. And ooh, there's our harvest animation core thing. Ooh, oh, I'm burning. <laughs> oh man, okay, let's get a wand. I think we have a wand here, right? Yep, there you go, iron cap wand, that'll do. And let's empty that, make sure no nasty slimy goo appears out of there. And I think we'll be good to go. Oh, wait, where's that skeleton at? Is he? I think they're in the caves. God, why is there stuff in my caves? I, I lit it up. There shouldn't be anything down here. Where is it? Is that skeleton? Oh, oh, there he is right there. What in the world? Where did you come from, skeleton trash? Really? You came from there? Man, out of all places, you came from that one tiny little cubby hole. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Whatever. Either way, we have our first straw golem now. I kind of want to go set him down and, and use our... Do we have that bell? Yeah, we have that bell. Uh, there's a straw golem. There's the animation thing. And I assume we just right-click him with the animation thing to give it to him, or maybe as an inventory or something. So, we have some carrots over here. Let's do that. And, ooh, look at this little guy. I thought he'd be bigger. <laughs> look at that little straw going. He's got a little belly button, too. I see that. And then, uh, let's see. Right-click. Okay, yeah, don't do anything. Ooh, that powers him on. Ooh. So that oh, wait. Oh, he's picking up stuff. Look at that. He's harvesting. Oh, whoa. Was it? Oh, that was, that was a hole I dug in the ground to get an Enderman. Uh, there, okay. There's his range, and this that little that little spot on the ground is where he returns to. That's cool. That could be you. Oh no! Get out of here, zombie. That could be really useful. Huh? So I assume maybe there's a, a, a an upgrade to have better range, and then of course we're going to need an, another golem to actually pick it up, kind of like what I did right there, and store it in like a chest. And then, we'll basically have an automated farm, thanks to these straw golem guys. Huh, so can I tell you to... How do I, how do I tell you to stop? I, oh no, 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 I don't want to hurry. Wait, what if I hit you? Oh, oh zombie! Oh, it's, it's a tainted or a zombie, zombie villager. God, I couldn't remember what it was called. But I was about to say, like, should we, should we heal him up or not? God, wireless out of range. 
Huh. So this guy's going to be picking up my crops. I don't know how to get rid of him. I don't want to. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to accidentally kill him. Uh. Oh wait. Does that tell him to not? To not do it. Oh wait. Wait. What? Wait. What does this do? Hmm. He gets rid of that stuff. I don't know what this does. What do I do with you now? <laughs> I don't know. Well, either way, I guess I have to do a little bit of research, find out, you know, exactly how to control these, these, these straw golems and other golems and stuff like that. But it seems like these guys are going to be a huge help once we get a different variety of these different golems and stuff. They're definitely going to help out around here. That's going to be fantastic. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Blightfall. Ooh, I see a zombie on the minimap. That's very close to our villagers. Is he underground? Is that warding thing actually working? Oh, no, 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 they're just like kind of above. Look at that, we, we have like a party of zombies. Look at these three zombies right here trying to kill those villagers. <laughs> Dumb zombies, you know they're underground. Uh, either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.